This amazing ecosystem is located on the bottom of the ocean, 2,000 meters water depth, in a hydrothermally impacted system in the Guaymas Basin in the Gulf of California. It's one of the most magnificent things that I've ever seen in the natural world. This feature is extreme, superheated. There are toxic chemicals, toxic metals, um, high concentration of hydrogen sulfide. There's all kinds of challenges living in an environment like this, yet life proliferates. This kind of feature offers you the ability to discover how life deals with these kinds of challenges. And not only, you don't just deal with it, you thrive on it. Those are the kinds of places that select for microorganisms that are really the superheroes of the ecosystem, the metabolic warriors that can tolerate extremes and do amazing things under challenging conditions. And those kinds of organisms are the ones who have the most to teach us about novel modes of life, how to survive under you know, precarious conditions. And many times they have you know, valuable biomolecules that can be used to advance medicine as well as science. Well, I mean, you're at the bottom of the ocean, right? So everything's different there. <laughs> it's crazy. It's good. Wow. So, Whoa. Mindy, what kind of gas is that? Methane. That's, so that's methane. Yeah. They're just amazing, the interaction of the oil and the gas as it is discharged. And then it got oily, I know. But this, the, the other one's doing it too now. Yeah. There it goes. The diversity of this is, is, is kind of blowing my mind right now. There's a lot of talk about CO2 dynamics in the atmosphere and that causing a greenhouse gas, but methane is 30 times more potent of a greenhouse gas than CO2. And what we're doing down there is looking at organisms that eat and produce methane and understanding their metabolisms can have an application in science and how we deal with our rapidly changing world. One of the biggest things to take away from this expedition is we are finding these unique ecosystems that we know so little about, and they're amazing. But then two meters away is piles and piles of plastic bags, balloons, and the detritus of the human race. It's devastating to see that impact on these ecosystems before we even fully understand them. In plastic you can see, imagine the stuff that's out there that we can't see. The water is warming, oxygen concentrations are dropping. By communicating the beauty and majesty of these systems, their importance to the natural world, to global biogeochemical cycles on this earth, we're making people fall in love with the ocean. I mean, when people really care about something, you know, they put their money down, they put their sweat equity into it, and they want to make a difference. They want to do something about it to make it better. And that's how I think change happens.